happy Thursday morning, everybody. Uh, it's Morning Gospel of Coffee, uh, April 23rd. I got the date right today. It has to do with the Mass yesterday. Anyway, so our Gospel is from John chapter 3, continuation, uh, verses 31 through 36. So Jesus is still talking with Nicodemus. Beautiful little scene. Again, he's talking about you know what's coming from above, that he's coming from above, bringing the divine teachings to hear what is below to help transform this world and those who follow and listen to the Son of Man, Jesus, uh, has eternal life. And uh, the challenge in that, and again, I don't even think it's a challenge, it's that imitation is, you know, for any of us, when we follow those commands, and I put commands in air quotes, because uh, they're not commands, they're invitations, uh, they're actually, they are natural things that we are to experience anyway, because we're created from God. But when we practice those virtues, uh, we do find life. We participate in life. Any of those who has really forgiven someone experiences that, that release from all that anger, from all that hate, from all that, that poison that keeps us down. I mean, and it's like, wow. Any person that practices generosity and compassion experiences that life. Um, you know, that, that joy of, of helping others, that joy of being free, not, not worrying about this and that, so, you know, do I have enough toilet paper, ammo, all that kind of stuff. You know, anybody who practices that, that virtue of patience and just kind of waits and humility. Uh, my ego got the better of me again last night, but when we practice humility, it's like, oh yeah, uh, we're much more engaged in living when we're not trying to force I'm not trying to force my way into this. So again, what Jesus is doing is, is inviting us to participate in the fullness of life here and now using those divine virtues. And again, the challenge for us is to use it, to do it, to practice it. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. It is Thursday, so I'm out of here until next Monday. Although uh, this weekend we'll have the, uh, we'll, we'll stop at Daily Mass today. The parish with Father Mike, um, and then on mini concert on Sunday, and then mass at 9:30 a.m. Uh, I'm also uh, looking at Saturday. Father John Bain is coming to our parish. It is his 50th anniversary. Happy anniversary, John Bain! And so he's going to do mass at our parish, and I'm going to convince him that he needs to put it online so people can watch too. Uh, I just don't think it's right for someone to celebrate their 50th anniversary as a priest all alone or just the two of us in a parish. I think we all need to see that. Anyway, you guys take care. And also Saturday is Bishop Straling's birthday as well, 87. So happy birthday, Bishop Straling. Take care, guys. See you later.